champions. Today, I'm excited for this one. I'm hoping this is gonna be a hidden gem of a budget amplifier. Now, right now, this is $75. I found this on Amazon. I think you pronounce it Audio Zeroni or Audio Zero One. Are you supposed to like use the zero two times? I don't know. But it's the Audio Zeroni LM1200.1 monoblock. There's no instructions in the box, nothing. So it says it does 1200 watts. So we will see. Comes with the base knob. It's metal, but it's hardwired. There is no connector. That's kind of weird. And the cable's white, but hey, I guess it doesn't really matter. There's a piece of black electrical tape over this opening. And while it may look a little cheesy, I know why they did that. Because like even on some of the good amps, they have a square cut out right here and it's open. I know like some of the Wolframs and Audio Legions um, even had that. So that I think they just put tape on it so nothing can get inside there and short out. So halfway decent. This little amp is heavy too. It's, it's solid aluminum. Tiffany RCAs. Now the only weird thing about it It's got gain. It's got a subsonic on off switch, which is kind of weird. You don't know what it's set to. Is it set to 20 hertz, 30 hertz, 10 hertz? But it's a push button on off subsonic. Bass boost, you got an adjustable low pass filter, which this is nice. They give you 12 decibel and 24 decibel cutoff, which is nice. And then a phase push button and your remote output. And again, this thing feels heavy. This does not feel cheap at all. I'm wondering if this is the build house selling out another higher end brand, just slapping, you know, a different label on it. Because so far, this feels really good quality. You got four gauge inputs. Looks like eight gauge speaker outputs. That's a good sign. And you got one LED. It's power and protect. So let's get it hooked up and see what happens. I got good. I got a good feeling about it because the build quality and the weight look really nice. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you guys a a gut shot at the end after we dyno it. But let's go ahead and get it hooked up and see what this audio balloon audio Zeroni does. All right. And just a quick note: I'm gonna have to take this plastic cover off because you can't quite get to the Allen screw to get the inputs in and it's also a Torx. So get ready to have a Torx bit. If you do buy this amp and hook it up, you're gonna need to remove this cover to get to the Allens and it is a Torx bit. All right guys, four ohm, 40 hertz. Let's see what this Audio Zerone does. There's it's a mystery there's no information with this thing so let's see what it does I'm so curious all right I'll put the uh, readings up on the screen right now but uncertified we got 357 watts at 4 ohms and we drew 37.7 amps and voltage was at 14.35 and I'll put both the uh, certified and uncertified numbers on the screen let's try a dynamic All right, dynamic burst 4 ohms see if we can get a little more out of it a little bit more 379 watts at 4 ohms dynamic. Not too bad. Huh. All right. Let's move on to the 2 ohm test. All right, guys. Here we go. 2 ohms. Let's see what this thing puts out. So.
so we got 629 at 2 ohms. We drew 68.8 amps at 14.32 volts. Doing pretty good so far. I'm not sure if we're going to hit that 1200 watt mark, but so far it's not too bad for $75. You know, even hitting 629 uncertified at 2 ohms, that's pretty good, but Let's go ahead and try a dynamic test at 2 ohm. Alright, here we go, 2 ohm dynamic. Alright, not too much more. 665 watts at 2 ohm dynamic. Man, I'm really curious what this thing's going to do at 1 ohm. If this hits 1200 watts for $75, that's going to be crazy. All right, hang tight. All right, guys, the moment of truth. Woo! Moment of truth. I'm hoping this thing hits at least 1000. And I haven't tested yet, tested this out yet. So, I'm just excited and curious as you are right now. So, let's see what happens at one ohm. Let's see if we can get that 1200 for $75 on Amazon. Here we go. Fingers crossed. So curious. Oh, it's almost at a thousand. Oh. Nice! 1,036 watts at 1 ohm, uncertified. I'll put both the readings, certified and uncertified, up on the screen. We drew 125 amps at 14.26 volts. Not bad for 75 bucks. Okay, let's go ahead and do dynamic, but already this is a pretty good deal. And the amp looks pretty well built, so... Let's see if we can get a little bit more dynamic out of this little thing. I'm guessing, because this thing, I don't think it has the caps inside to do that much more dynamic. I'm guessing 1150. No, 1200. Let's see. Can it do the 1200? Oh! Oh, yeah! Yeah! 1217 watts guys dynamic at 1 ohm all right let's try half ohm dynamic and see what happens i wasn't going to do this but because i think i have a buddy who could use this amp so i really don't want to blow it up but let's see what half ohm dynamic does and hopefully it doesn't pop All right, 1757 dynamic half ohm. I don't know why that thing's reading 0.6 because it's indeed half ohm. So there you go. All right, so here's a gut shot of the amp, and I'm amazed how clean and how nice this looks for the money. So over here we got 25 volt, 3300 microfarads. These are 105 degrees, 63 volt, 4700. And these two right there, what are those? 250 volt, 100 microfarads. And again, there's no instructions or paperwork at all in the box, but looking at the board, it does have overcurrent protection, I can tell, and over tent protection. Very tidy and clean. I was really surprised. Very good build quality. And this is all solid aluminum. It's not cheap. This amp is heavy. So a lot of good heat dissipation on this. It, it, this does not look like a $75 amp. Definitely very nice. You know, even the uh, Tiffany style RCAs. Very nice. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I was just super curious about this amp and wanted to try it. I did not expect it, um, but it actually did really good. So for $75, it's definitely 
a hidden jam of a little amplifier. Build quality is super nice. Um, you know, if you can get over not having like a name brand, I don't know how long it's going to last, but from the looks of the build quality and how it didn't skip a beat, didn't even struggle on the dyno, I mean, I'm sure it'll last quite a while. It's kind of pretty much a winner in my opinion, but let me know what you guys think. The only things I didn't like about it, I don't like the push button subsonic. I'm going to have to test that out with an oscilloscope and see where the subsonic actually is. So, I'm not sure if I'd use that until we verify where the subsonic's at. Um, the other thing that you have to take the plastic cover off, it's not a big deal, but they use Torx's on the back cover and on the side panel but other than that I mean it's a great deal they give you you know four gauge inputs eight gauge speaker outs not that you need them you know you get a remote bass knob not really liking the white but again you can't really complain for 75 bucks the knob itself is actually pretty good it's metal it's not loose it's pretty tight so pretty cool it's always exciting when new things that you never hear of work out so if you guys enjoyed the video or you want to purchase the amp, I'll put a link below. If you guys appreciate the content, please like and subscribe and keep up on the a lot of new content coming out. Thanks so much guys. Appreciate you watching.